Okay, now that we've shown you the different effects that you can get using different decorative stitches, we want to show you a few things that we've made and the effects we got with the stitches. One of the first little outfits that we made for a, a little girl was what we called tickled pink. And on this little outfit, Heather decided to stitch using a pink thread in a grid pattern. Instead of using a straight stitch, she used a serpentine stitch, which takes away the grid look and gives you just wonderful texture. And we used the texture on the bodice of the dress, on the pockets, on the little sun hat, and on the cute little purse for her to carry. Then we did a little summer dress, a little, a little halter dress, and on this one, this was the first time that Heather tried doing the decorative stitch, and I love how it turned out with just the little flower stitch on the, on the bodice. We used that same textured part on the hat, and we did it on the brim of the hat and on the crown of the hat as well. Another little outfit that we made for a baby is a little christening outfit. And on this one, I stitched in a grid sh design and I went probably about a half to three quarters of an inch apart. I didn't mark anything other than my first line, so some of the lines are further apart than others. But once it's texturized, you really can't tell. And we texturized the hat, used some of the fabric for the little booties, and then we did the dress. Now on this dress, we used the same grid pattern, but rather than stitching in a straight grid, this one was stitched with the grid at a diagonal. And you can get a really different effect just by changing the angle of your grid. You can see that maybe a little more easily on the stockings that we've done. And we did something different on the cuff of each one of these stockings. So here we have just your normal type of grid. We stitched about an inch apart in a diagonal shape. Now this one gives you a whole different look because instead of stitching at a, or marking at a 90 degree angle, right. I marked at a 60 degree angle. So I got more of a diamond effect from this grid. On both of these, I stitched straight lines, but rather than doing one line and all of them being evenly spaced, we did two lines close together did a little more space between it, two lines close together and a little more space, and you can see the cool effect that you get with that. Heather also stitched this with a glitter thread, and that gives you even more excitement. So have some fun playing with different stitches and see what effects you can come up with. Now on this purse, she picked a stitch that blends in with the fabric and really did a good job. She also chose to use a really heavy thread. She picked Brights by Carol Breyer Fallert, which is a 30 weight thread, and she picked a darker red than the color of the fabric so that the stitching on there really shows up. We took the scraps that were left and covered a button to go on the front. This bag really catches a lot of attention when we take it to shows because it looks so beautiful and elegant. This is called On the Town. Then the last bag that we have to show you is something totally different, but again, it's a different type of stitch. On this one, I followed the design on the fabric. So I can kind of show you the process of how that one worked. I started with a piece of the leaf fabric that looks like this. So you can see it's already got the veins of the leaf printed on the fabric, and it's a pretty fabric, but it doesn't have near the interest that it could have just by adding some texture magic. So then I took my piece of texture magic, I laid my batting on top, I put my fabric on top of that, and then I free motion stitched along the lines. And when I did this, I wanted a thread that would disappear, so I used a 50 weight sew fine thread. And I went along the major section lines first to kind of anchor it and hold it together, and then I went back in and filled in all the veins of the leaves. So as you can see here, this is how it looks once it's all stitched. And then once we've steamed it and really added the texture to it, this is the effect that we get on the flap of that bag. And by keeping the rest of the bag really smooth and flat, all of your attention is focused right there on the flap of that bag. So try some different stitches and different fabrics, add some batting, I added a batting to give it even more impact, and see what kind of effects you can do. And this is Serenity fun to play with.